Alright, g'day guys, it's Ben again here to bring you another video. Today we're going to fit a spearhead uh, onto a haft. Recently I purchased a Viking thrusting spearhead from uh, ma manufactured by a company called Huawei and um, I wanted to, to get it fitted so what I'm using is a 1.8 meter piece of 26 millimeter dowel that I purchased from my local hardware store in Australia that's called Bunnings. Okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is measure the internal diameter of the spearhead. You then want to measure approximately how far up this comes here. That will give you approximately uh, a direction on how to shape this. So I've seen other reenactors uh, sometimes they just glue this in place. I don't think that's safe. Um, there's, there's too much potential there for the spearhead to come off and clearly these are designed to injure people so um, it's just not um, to me uh, a very wise decision. You need to shape this uh, the end of the spearhead correction the end of the haft and the reason you do this is because the the more snuggly that's going to fit inside the spearhead um, really the better sort of purchase you're going to get. We can see here the internal measurement here is 26 millimeters which is fine however um, if this goes up and you can go up approximately So I'm going to say 10 centimeters, which should be more than adequate. The internal measurement is then approximately 18 millimeters. So let's mark that out. And you can then use something like um, a plane or, or something like this, or potentially even a knife if you had to, but uh, I'd rather sort of do it the right way. You could either do this with a sander or something. Um, this will take a little while to do, but it does mean doing it this way that you can uh, really control how much you're taking off. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is use a very fine drill bit and drill straight through. Ideally you want to use a cobalt drill bit. Uh, they're better with uh, this drilling through alloys. I'm now just using a 30 millimeter bullet head nail. This has come out really nice and flush. And you can see it just here. Super flush. I'm not actually worried too much about sanding down the half because it's, it's already quite a nice feel there's no splintering or anything like that going on so you can use a spear really well. Alrighty guys so what we've ended up with is a really effective um, and secure uh, spearhead and this is going to work really well for reenactment and HEMA training historical European martial arts and uh, and this is a really robust it's going to withstand quite a lot of uh, use and function so I'm really really quite impressed with this very simple very easy to do it takes about 15 or so minutes of your time please don't forget to like subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video